Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new informational video on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. EA have dropped the five-star skiller list. Now, I wanted to show that for you tomorrow, but actually I was already working on this video. And then EA fully dropped the list, so I thought, you know what? I need to get this information out to you guys as soon as possible. So, we've got a whole bunch of skillers. I think there's 26 or... 28 or maybe even 35 star skillers this year, including a few new ones. So what I'll do for you today is talk through from the lower rated ones all the way up to the highest rated and the legends, of course. Uh, every single 5 star skiller in FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. There are a couple of female 5 star skillers, but because they don't come into Ultimate Team, we won't cover them. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button on today's video and subscribing if you're new to my channel, that'd be absolutely awesome. Let's get into the skiller list. So this is your first page of five-star skillers. We've got four players on here. We have got Makai Stevens and Shifchi, who are both five-star skillers already. Both now playing for Celtic. Uh, Shifchi's had a bit of a downgrade to 72 pace, but that's no big deal. I still think he'll be an absolute beast. And then we've got Bataka playing for Leeds, who's actually just a transfer card. But again, he was an upgrade to a five-star skill moves at some point in FIFA 15. So he's managed to keep that and retain that for FIFA 16. And we've got Mastur, who is a new player onto Ultimate Team. Now playing for AC Milan, the Moroccan. Looks like a pretty decent silver card. 72 pace, 76 dribbling. He'll be alright, but he's a nice 5-star skiller to have. So next up, we've got a couple of uh, position changes. And we've got one new skiller on this page, uh, which is Gueron. That's how I'm going to pronounce his name. I do apologise if it isn't actually how you say it. Um, but we've got a Royal Gueron. Uh, we've got... Uh, Elianusi and we've got Fidel Martinez. Martinez, uh, once he got his transfer card, was a striker five-star skiller, but he's now moved back to a left mid spot for FIFA 16. Elianusi and Arroyo both keep that left mid spot. And Gueron, who has moved from a right-sided player up front, and he's got 90 pace, and he's got 76 dribbling, and he's a five-star skiller. That's pretty epic. So next up, we move from silvers to golds. We've got three silvers on this page and our first gold player. Uh, we've got what? One new five-star skiller, I believe it is, on this page, and that is Aldosari in from the Saudi League. He has actually got a perfect link with a very, very good right-back. Um, Al Shamrani, I think, is what his name is. So uh, you guys have got a good little perfect link combo there if you're ever looking for a couple of players to add into a hybrid squad. Uh, and then you've got Elton, who's had some nice upgrades from a 70 to a 74 rated card, keeping the five-star skills. Wellington Silver keeping his five-star skills as well, now playing for Bolton. And then we've got Kishna, new to the Serie A for Lazio, has been moved up to a gold card. Nice pace, amazing shooting upgrade for him, and he's going to be a sick five-star skiller, probably one of the cheaper ones too. Next up we've got some of the lower rated gold entry cards uh, here which are all 5 star skillers. All have been 5 star skillers previously so we don't need to dwell on them too long. We've got Maxim, Fernandez, Balassi and of course Magidi. Balassi being upgraded from a 75 to a 76. Uh, however they've downgraded his passing by quite a lot. Everyone else on that card uh, on this page looks pretty good. Matthias Fernandez has had a downgrade, but because of his move from Cam to CM, some of his stats have actually gone up, and his card actually looks really good. Now on this page of skillers, we've got one new one, and that is a guy called Buffal, who has moved from a bronze card all the way up to a gold card in the space of FIFA 15 to FIFA 16. That's pretty epic. He's done a Pogba on us from a couple of years ago. Uh, but we've got Basufa, Tarap, Ben Arfa. Those are all very common five-star skillers uh, that will all be very cheap, no doubt about about it but decent ones to link up there are a lot of Moroccan five-star skillers so that's pretty cool and then uh, Buffal actually joins that club of Moroccan skillers 86 pace 85 dribbling at cam he's going to be one to watch he'll be an absolute god just looking at that card I genuinely can't wait to use him probably one of the cheaper ones too Okay, on the next page, we are up to all uh, the 80-plus club, we could call it. All of these players are 80-plus rated. Carrillo is a new 5-star skiller on this page. The other guys have all kept their 5-star skills from the previous generation of Ultimate Team. Carrillo has had a nice pace upgrade, lovely shooting upgrade. He actually looks like a really good card. Charisma getting some stat upgrades all over the place as well. Douglas Costa looking absolutely sick too. And he's got a right mid position card, which is interesting. He's a very good alternative to Robin now. Uh, and then we've got Nanny, uh, who actually had a couple of upgrades as well. Uh, and his card looks just sick. As always, I love Nanny on Ultimate Team. 
So these are our typically highest rated 5 star skillers on the game, excluding Legends of course. Uh, we have got Quadrado now for Juventus with a nice new picture on him. Uh, and his card has had a downgrade but some of his stats have stayed the same, gone up a little bit. And again, he's just going to be awesome as ever. Like Quadrado is one of those players who is perfect for Ultimate Team. Uh, we've got Frank Ribery who receives a downgrade but keeps that 5 star skills which is epic. And then we've got two absolute gods here, Neymar and Ronaldo. Neymar, I am just so excited to use probably more so than Ronaldo just because I know Neymar's got the five star skills and five star weak foot which is always amazing uh, and his card just looks genuinely awesome 88 rated now and then 93 Ronaldo of course he's always going to have the five star skill moves he just looks like a god and then our resident legends who have kept their five star skill moves we've got two five star skiller legends of course as always I'm pretty sure I just put four fingers up I meant to. Uh, and we've got Akotcha and Pele, of course. The Nigerian Akotcha keeps his 87 rating. They've both actually kept every single stat the same from FIFA 15. I know EA have been changing a lot of the ratings and the levels of ratings on certain legends and stuff. But both of these guys keep the 87, the 95, and all of their actual stats stay the same as well. Uh, Akotcha, uh, hopefully, because of dribbling being a lot more important this year, I'm hope hoping he'll perform a bit better. And then Pele is just obviously going to be absolutely insane. So those are your list of five star skillers for FIFA 16. That is the entire list, of course, with two females as well. But they'll be in head-to-head -head gameplay, not on Ultimate Team. Uh, if you guys have found this informational video useful or anything like that, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are new for more FIFA 16 Ultimate Team content. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.